So what I'm going to do now is tone it, in case you didn't see the title of the video. And yeah, it's more noticeable if I go like this, that it's still a bit blue. So anyway, what I'm using is, in case you didn't look at the title of the video, um, kind of a triangle head, um, a shrine white blonde, which looks very purpley blue, <laughs> but I don't think I used this one last time. I used the silver one, so we'll see what happens with this one. One way to find out. And I have this grand plan to put in extensions tomorrow, but I think I'm done. I don't feel like doing this anymore. I'm going to take a break. Maybe next week can be extension time. I remember being concerned last time that it didn't look dark enough, but we're going to trust the process. I didn't really have any hair break off, so that's good. A small blessings. I'm always worried when I bleach my hair that this is going to be the time that it all falls out, but not this time. Maybe next time. Yeah, I'm not wearing gloves because I can't be bothered. This is really light. It's not going to stain my hands. There you go. Yeah, I got nothing to talk about. So we're going to speed through this one too. Okay, I just noticed that my camera's been off for I don't know how long. Um, I've gotten this far and the battery's dead, so I'm just going to keep going. You've seen me do this before, probably, so I'm going to charge the battery for a bit. Okay, I'm back. I'm done the roots and I've mixed up another batch that's a little bit. Um, lighter and a bit runnier because this is quite thick and difficult to work with. So here's hoping that I've got enough battery to get through this. I don't know if I'm going to use this. It's actually a hair mask that I'm using instead of conditioner. Kind of regretting it because it's not super easy to work with. But here we are. Also, if you're wondering, um, 
Well, the strong ones are a little bit tricky because you're supposed to have a certain amount of conditioner, which is like not nearly enough to do like, it'll maybe do half my roots. So I put an amount of conditioner in the bowl, well, hair mask, and um, I think six drops of the toner for the first batch, the root color, and less conditioner, more water, and two drops for this batch, which really tells you no useful information besides don't go too heavy on the drops at first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know how, who they think can do their hair with I think it's like something ridiculous, like 40 mils of conditioner. Who can do that? Not I. I'm having some doubts about right here. Oh well. Not the end of the world if it doesn't work out. I've gone tomorrow to do things and fix it if I need to. It could be definitely taking much thinner sections. You can see it looks like there's going to be kind of some weird bands in places. Oh well. Oh well. Worst things have happened to my hair. just the right amount. with the bloom. Anyway, that is that. I'm going to leave this on for some amount of time and be back tomorrow. Alright, so I'm somewhere between success and failure here. The ends turned out okay. The roots are a little too purpley. I'm like, my hair always picks up so much more color right here. But yeah, let's just ignore that patch and look here. <laughs> There's a couple spots where I didn't quite saturate enough with the roots. Around here somewhere is a bit of a problem area. Um, It's not super bad. Where is it even? I don't know. There's something around here somewhere. Um, yeah, so could have been a lot worse, but it could also be better. I just suck at toning my hair. Let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah. So that's that. And I'm sure that as I wash it, the roots will fade it, and it will all be fine. So, I didn't get blonde in <laughs> my first wash it, and it looked so blue. It's like, oh shit, not again. But, yeah, it's kind of like an icy color. So I don't mind it, but it could be better. So that's that.